Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 3. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we talk to the Great Gurn. Ah, ha! I see you have come from afar. Well, your travels are amply rewarded. For you have reached the one and only, the seer of fortunes and teller of truths, the Great Gurn! I never heard of you. He didn't say anything. He's not saying anything. He broke. Uh, tragic, he says. Your memory must be failing you. But come, travelers, do not want... Do you not want to know your fortunes? Um, fortune tellers are, tellers are a scam. <laughs> Most of them are, but the great Gurn is not. I charge not a dime for my fortunes. Come, surely you'd like to hear what your future holds. Why aren't you inside the bazaar? Uh, Flab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match my intuition? My gift? My panache? Ah, the panache. Also me bumping into the microphone tremendously. I'm sorry. You might have heard the blunk. Um, who's Flab? Oh, we know who Flab is. Flab is the leader of the monster army and has been for many decades, growing fat and slothful all the while. <laughs> okay, tell us our fortune. Wisely chosen. Those who do not prepare for the future are clowns. To begin, you must think of your favorite color. Concentrate solely on the color. Let the color completely fill your mind. Estás ready? I don't have a favorite color. Nonsense! You must! Fine, then. Think of any color you like. Just let it fill your mind. Okay, ready. I see an ocean of waves. Your color is blue! I can't point out that he's not telling me the future, by the way. That's not the color. Apologies! <laughs> I was impatient. Uh, now I see you're riding the waves toward the warmth of a red sun. It must be so. Red is the color you are thinking. You got it. Of course, of course. The Great Gurn is never wrong. Ah, an image of your future is forming. Hmm. Now tell me. What is it that brought you to Colorado? Mm, we'd rather not tell you. Nothing can be hidden from Gurn's all-seeing gaze. But as you wish. My final question. What brought you to the bazaar? Also, I'd rather not tell you. Um, but I'm gonna... We're here trying to solve an issue with refugees. Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. Listen carefully, for the fortune I tell you may very well save your lives and the lives of many. Your steps here are only the first on what I now see is your greater goal, to become Kaiser of all time and space. Your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. Ah, yes. A vision becomes clearer now. Now I can clearly see you standing before a red balloon. The red balloon bursts without warning, and you stand covered in red blood. Beware! <laughs> Beware! <laughs> that is uh, all I can see. Your path is hard, mamans. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no use. He didn't even say the word again. Mamongs? What's that? Where did the, where did the E go? Where was this? What? 
What do you mean, mamans? You work to my mamans and throw my bag at the... Anyway. Um, what's this key for? The great Gurn stares at a point in the distance, softly chanting in an unfamiliar language. Yeah, the spanish leash that he has. He does not appear willing to answer your question. Goodbye. Beware the red balloon! No. I will eat the red balloon. We have Paris Handler over here, uh, who doesn't seem to have that much of a get-up in comparison to everybody else, so... Hi. Uh, hi! Hey there! Hi! Yeah, I'm Paris, trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part, but not right. the dyes. Yeah. Unless you do dyes, which is totally cool by me if you do. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Do you... I like her. Do you know anything about the refugee situation? Refugees? Don't know about that. I mean, everyone here looks like they're refugees. Have you seen us? It's cold here. Brr. Try Ananda. He's this really well-dressed guy, comes out here a lot preaching waistcoats or something. He knows everybody. <laughs> preaching waistcoats. Waistcoats, yeah. Um, yeah, he didn't give me his suit. He's a jerk. What are you doing here? I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood, which is hard. Because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the hue. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just peaches if you could help. I could even pay you, a little at least. My dye table is right over there. What does the monster army want with blood red, uh, blood co colored dye? Decoration, I suppose. Or, uh, I don't know, really. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. What are these people doing hanging out around outside the bazaar? Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see. Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. Anyhow. Yeah, anyhow. Tell us about Flab. Um, Flab's uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that what that was supposed to be. It's the Flab of skin, or I suppose fat, because, you know, the, the skin on the outside as well, so it's still all, also skin. It's the Flab of skin that you, like, you have on your belly if you're bigger, um, which I have. Um, but... Yeah, I didn't realize what it was. I thought for some reason I was thinking of the name uh, of a name that starts with Flab somehow, because um, there are names that do that. Uh, goodbye. So long. Mm-hmm. Of course, Flabs might have been a little bit more. Uh, well, I guess it, I still wouldn't have gotten it. Wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, flabs, if it if it were. The table before you has been carefully prepared by Paris for mixing chemicals. Each, each container is marked with the chemicals, uh, the chemical it contains, which makes sense. And there are various, well, I suppose, you, how do we know that it is? It could, it could be marked with a chemical that some other container contains. Anyway, and uh, there are various tools for decanting and mixing. Uh, I need weird science for this, for this so that's going to be a... Uh, well, start mixing chemicals for a new dye. What chemical do you want to add first? Ooh. Well, carbon C37, carbon C16, carbon, carbon C20, carbon C18. Um, common sense would say C20, because it's the third one. However, I would say it's either 16 or 18. Um, maybe 37. Because it's the, I'm, I'm looking at the middle. It's between 6 and 8. It's a 7. Let's go with C37. What chemical do you want to add next? Uh, I don't know. Hydrogen? I suppose it has to be. Which type of hydrogen, though? Uh, well, we got uh, 34, 8, and 6, and 14, and 9, and 10. Is it by dividers? Well, let me write this down. 
because we're probably gonna screw the first um, uh, the first uh, experiment up. So anyway, C thirty seven. Uh, we have sixteen, twenty, and seventeen, and then we have H. I'm writing these down so I have access, easy access to the things because I think it might be like at least a lower common denominator or something like that, um, or lowest common denominator. Because uh, chemistry sometimes is like that. The this 40, 14 and nineteen and all that. I'm actually not sure what it stands for, but I think it's an isotope. Uh, and if it is the isotope, I think what make uh, like basically it's the positive charge that it has. Uh, so if it is the positive charge, you'd want the the electrons. No, those are the negative charge. The protons, I think so. Uh, you'd want them to even out so that it would be stable. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. I'm um, still, uh, let's see, 37, uh, that is, uh, how about a 9 for that? No, that's a bad number for 9. Uh, let's go with a 9, though. Close, uh, choose another chemical. Oh, we have nitrogen and iodine now. I didn't even know iodine was a, a, a chemical. So we have nitrogen 2, and we have iodine 4, and we have uh, nitrogen 4. I'm going to go with iodine. What chemical are you adding next? I don't know, sodium, I suppose? Uh, Na, two or three. Well, I guess it's gonna be three because I like the number. Another chemical to add: oxygen. Oh my god, there's way too many of these. Uh, I wonder if it is a puzzle. Yeah, there's a lot of oxygen, but the, the isotopes are weird. I don't know that these isotopes exist. Nine, eight. I'm writing these down, by the way. That's why I'm sort of not doing much immediately. Ten, five, seven. Now let's go with the ten. What is your final, final chemical component? That's the one. Uh, it's sulfur. Three or two. Skip the six. We can also skip the sixth. Uh, which uh, could be... A your mix is ready. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, could be a, um, a mistake. Turn on the mixer. The chemicals begin reacting, but the reaction quickly fizzles. You were unable to produce it's the hard, dye. huh? I hear there used to be books that'd tell you the exact mix you needed, but I'm pretty sure they're not around the bazaar. The table before you, yeah. So, let me see. So we have a lot of twos and threes. Um, that could be a tip, uh, a, a trick. Because if we do multiples of twos or multiples of threes, that could work. Let's try and go for the threes, because I, I think the multiples of twos might be just w a little bit too easy. Uh, no, it... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, oxygen. We're going to skip, actually, sulfur, because I don't think we need it. Uh, we're going to go for ox oxygen nine, uh, nitrogen three. Ooh, but iodine and, and the other one. Yeah, it needs to be multiples of two. So let's go. Carbon, 20. That's an actual one. Um... And then we have uh, hydrogen, 10. Uh, we have nitrogen, 4. No, nitrogen, 2. Because it needs to be oxygen, 10. Sulfur, 2. Turn. Yeah. Hey, uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Don't break my tools, please. Don't worry, I'm bad at this. I suppose I might find the book? I hope I do. I wanna help her out. There's a toolbox out here, but I don't know. We got Polly! Uh, Mephit. No, it's a bird. Pro possibly a parrot, because that's the typical one. Uh, Larry's Hunter, and Larry's Hunter, and this is Six-Fingered Larry and Polly. I don't. I think there's a joke there somewhere. Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry Hunter. Though it seems you find me plumb out of wares. The parrot beside him squawks ob obnoxiously. He studiously ignores the bird, which is a hard thing to do. How do you ignore something studiously? But he does. Um, that's an interesting looking parrot. Is it for sale? Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. 
If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself because I got no say in what he's going to do. Sure. Um, we want to buy Polly. Can we talk to him? All right. It's your funeral. It's going to be animal handling. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? Larry, my buddy, my pal. <coughs> Come closer. <whistles> I'll show you how it sounds to me. <coughs> As Larry leans in, Polly bites down hard on his nose. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. <coughs> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. Huh? <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Polly wants you to gag on weak old shit leaking from a dead guy's ass. <laughs> Piss off, shit smear. Piss off. Listen, shit for brains. <laughs> Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. <laughs> That's my job. I love that job. You hear that, Larry? Fuck you. <laughs> Huh? Oh boy, we can attack, my god. Uh, wouldn't you be happier traveling around Colorado and making everyone miserable? I... well, shit, you're right, you circus reject. <coughs> I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid <coughs> to a diseased vulva. <coughs> but when you're right, you are right. <coughs> hey, Larry, I'm leaving. <coughs> All right, he's yours if you pay the price. Wait. Well, this sounds about fair, don't you think? No. Uh, you need to pay me. What? You really get going to let him make that much money from you, Polly? Hell no. <coughs> hey, just for brains, Larry. Give them a discount or I'll fill your pie hole with parrot piss while you sleep. <coughs> ah, give me a second. Give me a second, I'm trying here. What the heck is going on? All right. All right. That price was a little high. How about this? Hmm. So 150 it is. Here you go. Yeah, something's not right with you. No. But you have my respect. Enjoy the parrot. And let me know if you need anything else. The little shoe at the end. Uh, I think he said that before, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, I guess... I think there's bad things... Wait a minute. Is the parrot gonna... The parrot is not an inventory item. It's a pet. And now I have... Slick chick. Uh, sorry. Chick. Slick chick. Don't let him ruffle your feathers. For extra five evasion... Uh, well, I guess that's that. Um, it's nice, I suppose. Uh, hey, Polly. How have you been? A lot better for being free from your stink, you shit-stained cum rag. That's the Polly I know. And don't miss. What can I do for you? Yeah, I had to pay for it. I can't believe it. Why do they call you six-fingered, Larry? Who knows? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Same as anyone else. So you got ten fingers. What? <laughs> I understand. Hmm. I I understand. I understand where you're coming from, six fingered Larry. The people have ten fingers, and if you were six finger, uh, if you had six fingers, then you would be missing four. Right? It's like it's yes. That's how that works. A uh, six-year-old kid can tell you this. Yeah, and, but I suppose it makes sense for him to think maybe maybe they meant 12-fingered somehow instead of six, because 12 and six are different. But anyway, it's... Can I point that out? Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. Hmm. 
You know anything about a, a band of smugglers moving refugees through this area? Because it's, it's like even nine-fingered Frodo. No spoilers. I mean, I just spoiled it for you a little bit. Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, the, the, it's even nine-fingered Frodo. Everybody knows nine-fingered when you lose a finger. It's not four-fingered. What the heck? I mean, maybe maybe there. I can't think of a single character who is called four-fingered something. Anyway, do you know anything about the smugglers? Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. I think I might know where or how the suit happens. I might be dressed, uh, might have it as a, a, a my, my uh, character skin. Uh, yeah, uh, we were hoping we could ask a few questions about the bazaar. I'm no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. We want to get into the bazaar. Could you vouch for us? Me? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. I don't know what that is. And if you did, I wouldn't want to know. Who is in charge here? That'd be Flab the Inhaler. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch gutted their ranks. As far as dictators go, he's actually not half bad says the man who's jealous of the smugglers for making more money than he is than he does. Uh, anything we should know about this place? The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. Well, now it's something else then. Uh, some other topics? What's on your mind? Nothing. Be seeing you. See you later. Okay, so, I think if I'm correct, all I need to do is remove my Equipment. I'm not correct. Um, I don't know what I had equipped. Uh, was it a machine? No, it was one of these. Do I want the machine shop chest? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Do I want these? I can I can barely tell. There's there's things in the way. Can't see my crotch, which is obviously the intention behind having that. I mean, I assume. Anyway, uh, we're good. I think so. Oh wait, my helmet. Oh my helmet. Yeah, yeah. I have it selected because that's it. So now we have a parrot. That's not gonna make life easier. I suppose I could kill it. Maybe. Doesn't look like it can kill. I can kill Tomcat, but not the parrot. Hmm. I'm not going to kill Tomcat. In fact, I'm not sure I can kill Tomcat because... Have you seen the health that thing has? My god. Maybe, maybe we could, but... Welcome. Open. We're not going up there. There's a rabbit over there. Hello. Squeak, goes the rabbit. What is that? It is a brooch rifled barrel. That's pretty good for upgrades. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I don't know what that sound was, but we're good. Polaroid photo. I don't need that. Oh, there's that's what that is. Get out. That is a bomb hopper. Okay. Take the shot. Take the shot. Get the Take the freaking shot. Thank you. Also, good to know that uh, the shot is only a single character rather than everybody else. Or than, rather than everybody, even though I'm in group mode it would make sense in this game to not allow everybody to shoot while out of combat because that would be exploitable as hell okay Senor Bubbles, where you at, payaso? the pigs are getting hungry went up top for a food run got a mamon who took a wrong turn and i'm bringing him back now orale i'll get the cleavers ready orale I have no idea what that means. I think it's just actual, like, a lot of slang. Dang it! I swear I clicked. The outcome was never in doubt. Oh, it was. Save scum is the outcome. There we go. I don't think there was anybody over here, although there might have been. Can I see from there? Yes, I can. And we got to level up over there. Need to pay attention to this stuff. Uh, we got some loot. 
time for your wake up call. Unfortunately, you just shot your cat. Fortunately, we go first. Uh, but that is not ideal. Juan, can you take care of that? Possibly. Reasonable. Reasonable indeed. That is how it's done. Pretty good. It wasn't how it's done, unfortunately. DJ R.I.P. is back. Are y'all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your heart's not gonna bleed too much. Ow! And there's a classic song that plays. I think it's the same as before. Can I t t turn you away? Last night? Okay. I don't know what that is. I will turn you away because I have control over everything. We have an extra survival thing over here for binoculars. Isn't it Lucia who has that? I think so. Let's see. Skills. Oh, nobody has survival. Uh, potentially. Yeah, nobody has survival. So, no, no. We must have. I remember somebody having survival. Where am I looking? There it is. Lucia. I was right. So she has an animal whisperer right now? Or she doesn't... Well, the, he has a thing that is for animal whisperer. Somebody else is going to have to have that. And it's uh, it's going to be Marshall Quan over here. Good. For a, It looks like sometimes he has a monocle, but he's not the one that has the monocle. So it's good. Yeah, lowering that volume there. Oh, look at that car. Oh, you can... You can see the day the car is all destroyed because it's uh, halfway down the hill. There's a waste wolf over there. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm not a fan of this, by the way. I really am not a fan of the radio making noise. Let's have a chat with the wolf. Wolf says, I up. That's, that's, that's more or less what he said. Uh, and let's see what we have over here. And eh, just normal, normal junk. And I think a dead end. No, not really. Look at that. There definitely is a way through, but I don't think it's possible. An inflammable gorilla. Someone has turned this inflatable... It's not inflammable. Gorilla into a frozen gargoyle. No doubt in hopes of scaring away unwanted guests. Uh, I think we're going to need to come back later. Also, we're out of time for the day. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.